Hey guys, a very warm welcome to the channel The Mariners SK. This is Daksh Kumar. So you have watched the beautiful campus of Tulani Maritime Institute on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. You also got to know that it is the number one ranked institute for maritime training in Asia. Now you are also aspiring to get graduated from Tulani Maritime Institute. So TMI offers you these three courses to get graduated from their institute. That is the Diploma in Nautical Science, the BSc in Nautical Science and B.Tech in Marine Engineering. In this video, I will be telling you on how you can join their Diploma in Nautical Science course. If you are also interested in knowing about the BSc in Nautical Science or the B.Tech in Marine Engineering courses, you can let me know in the comment section. And if there will be a good number of comments asking for that, I will surely come up with a video on that. So if you want to join the DNS course in Tulani Maritime Institute, clearing IMU CET is mandatory. So apart from this, you have to take care of some eligibility criteria that Tulani asks for. Starting off with the age criteria, minimum age should be 17 years, maximum age should not be more than 21 years on the day of commencement of the course. Generally, the course starts from 1st of August. So if you're applying for next year, that is 1st of August 2025, you should be more than 17 years of age and less than 21 years of age. If you are fulfilling the age criteria coming on to the educational qualification that it asks for. So you should have passed 10 plus 2 examination with minimum 60 percentage aggregate in the first attempt. Or you could have done BSc with physics as main subject with 60 percent aggregate marks. Or you could have done BTEC in any stream with 60 percentage aggregate marks. Also, you should have scored at least 50 percentage in English in either class 10th or 12th board examination. The step number two is TMI pre-screening test. So all those candidates who fill the forms of TMI for DNS, TMI conducts a pre-screening test for them. The pre-screening test is of 90 minutes. 80 marks, 80 questions. PCM is asked with general aptitude, try scoring more than 60 or 65 in order to be in a safe zone for getting shortlisted for companies. Now, what is the significance of this pre-screening test? TMI creates a dashboard of all the students filling out their forms with the dashboard reflects the score in pre-screening test, their score in class 12 board examination, score in English and their involvement in extracurricular activities. Based on this dashboard, the internal companies coming in TMI shortlist candidates for their own exam and interview. If you get shortlisted, you'll get a mail from that company that you have been shortlisted. The, you have to sit for a written exams and you have to clear the written exam and you have to clear the interview. And you have, if you have done this, then your seat will be secured in TMI with that sponsorship company for doing the DNS course. Now the internal companies coming into TMI are Tom, Volum, DMICO, Goodwood and T Erudite. Apart from this, there is an also another way of securing a seat in TMI that is through fleet management. What fleet management does is fleet management releases its external forms for the August batch as TMI only takes August batch for DNS. So you have to fill the forms of fleet management for August batch. It asks you your preferred institute for doing DNS. You have to select your preferred institute as TMI, clear the fleet's written examination, clear the fleet's interview. Then your seat will be sure shot secured for doing the DNS course with the sponsorship of fleet management. If you are going by the second option, then it is not necessary to fill out the pre-screening test forms of TMI. Your seat will be secured with fleet management through their external forms. If you don't want to go with fleet management or get sponsored by companies like Tom Tankers or DMICO, Goodwood, then you can go by the first option, as I said, by filling out the pre-screening test forms, scoring more than 60 or 65 in the pre-screening test. That will make sure that you are getting shortlisted in any of the companies like Tom Tankers, Goodwood, MMS or T Erudite. Companies like Scorpio and Synergy also used to come earlier 
but this year they were not there so two or three companies in the list i told you keeps on changing but majority of the companies remain the same williamson also used to come three years back but now it's only taking bsc carrots so as i said two or three companies keeps on changing but majority of the companies remain the same so if you are scoring more than 60 in the pre screening test you can be sure that at least two or three companies you'll get shortlisted in so focus on the pre screening test score good marks and as i said second option of fleet management it is the best way as fleet every year sends 40 carats out of 120 seats in tulani 40 seats as for fleet management so it is a short short way as in the first method you have to wait to score good in the pre-screening test score good in the company's written examination and interview in the fleet management scenario you have to just score good in the fleet management's written test you have to uh, clear the interview and your seat will be secured so whichever way suits you best that depends on you this was all about how you can get into tolani maritime institute for doing the dns course if you guys are interested in bsc nautical science or btech in marine engineering let me know in the comment section if there are good number of comments as i said i'll surely make a video on how you can pursue these courses in tmi if you want to get spoon fed on how you should prepare and you want a mentor to help you in getting into TMI for doing the DNS course, budding mariners batches are there. You can go on the description, fill out the forms and you will get all the assistance that you require for joining TMI for doing the DNS course. Till that time, this is Daksh Kumar signing off. See you in the next video.